So my first spec scan, 1991, a woman tried to kill herself the night before. I went to the lecture on brain spec imaging, and then I walked out of the lecture and she was my new patient. Her name was Sandy, she tried to kill herself the night before. And as I'm getting to know her, I'm thinking she has ADD. She has an eight-year-old son who has ADD, talked about the genetic connection. She had an IQ of 144, but never finished college. And I'm like, how'd you study? She said, well, I never really did, except maybe the night before a test, I'd put on a pot of coffee, stay up all night cramming, and then I'd take the test. That's classic ADD way of doing things. And I'm like, you know, I think maybe you have adult ADD. And she goes, oh, adults don't have ADD. And I'm thinking, I'm the dog. <laughs> I'm like, well, how about if we look at your brain? And... And I knew from other work I'd done that I should do it twice at rest and concentration. And when she tried to concentrate, her brain completely de turned off. Like for you, Willing did it once, but if I had done it twice, probably your brain would be busier at rest. And then when you try to do it, it would drop. And I put the pictures on, uh, a couple of days later, I put the picture on the table in front of her 